Welcome to Litchfield. Today we're going to be looking at dog friendly pubs and we're going to be going to a number of dog friendly pubs in Litchfield and seeing what we think of them. And as a special treat for you today, we've got our friend Disco Dave. Hello folks! Yes, Disco Dave at your service. And so to help us with the dog friendly pubs, we've got Audrey and we've also got Dexter who is 11 years old, so he knows exactly what a pub should be, don't you? Yes. <laughs> The first pub we're going to visit is the Bittersweet. They're a free house just around the corner from Litchfield City train station. It was formerly known as the Bridge Tavern Pub. They have no TV, gambling machine or music. It has a beer garden, holds regular events such as quizzes and is quite unique as it doesn't have a bar and is table service only. Let's see that in action, shall we? Hello there folks, what can I get you to drink? Hmm, what do you fancy? Wine, I think, for me, wine. Yeah. Game over, please. Game over. Uh, cider for me, please, Lovely. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'll be right back. I'll Thank you. you. Thanks. Cheers. So in the bittersweet, it's really good because you can actually bring your own food. So we have gone to Greg's, we've got ourselves uh, some cheese and onion bakes, a vegan sausage roll, some mince pies and a banana and an orange each. And we're going to have our lunch while we're having a drink in the bittersweet. Look at these two beautiful dogs. Now unfortunately I had to take my dog to the vet last week and the vet said I'm sorry Disco Dave, I'm going to have to put him down. I said why? He said my arms are aching. Shortly after this, we made our excuses and left. The next pub on our travels is going to be the King's Head. Dating back to the 15th century, it's the oldest coaching inn in Litchfield. Although there is a bit of debate as to whether the Duke of York is the oldest pub. It's in a Grade 2 listed building. And in 1705, it was the birthplace of the Staffordshire Regiment. It serves food at very reasonable prices has a covered courtyard area, hosts regular entertainment. I've had a neck oil in the King's Head. Tastes very nice, very refreshing, very crisp, zesty. And I've gone for the pedigree. That's a nice bitter. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, this girl. They had a good. Well, there's nothing I could do about it. <laughs> So, I knew we were coming to a few different bars, so I thought I'd go to the bank before it all starts. So I went to the bank early today, and I went up to the counter. I said to the assistant, excuse me, could you check my balance please? And she pushed me over. It was at this point we were asked to leave. So it's time to leave the King's Head and we're off now to a Grade 2 listed building uh, built back in the 16th century uh, called the Spiritualist. It specialises in cocktails and is table service and is an independent lounge bar situated in a very, very pretty building as you can see.
That's Kalua and Bailey. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. Dave, what's your verdict on Very that? Very nice. Very nice. Mm. What was in yours? It's the Empress, and um, there's I think there's rum in there. Cranberry. No, I don't think there's cranberry in that, Dave. It's green. Okay. Rewind that bit. <laughs> I had a cocktail shot of baby Guinness. Look, can you see? It looks like a little baby Guinness, doesn't it? And it's Kahlua and Bailey's. Same colour as Audrey and Dexter. It is the same colour as Audrey and Dexter. And you know what happens when I have a mudslide cocktail? If you don't know what happens when I have a mudslide cocktail, watch our previous vlog on the gala night on the cruise. You'll see what happens. It's nice in here though. I walked into this bar and I said, can I have a whiskey please? And the guy said, on the rocks. I said, no, I'll have it here. He said, would you like that neat, sir? I said, yes, please. He said, well, tuck your shirt in there. At this moment, we were chased from the pub by an angry mob with pitchforks. With no time to waste, we leave the spiritualist and head to the Angel, which is part of the Jules Brewery chain. They brew over 7,000 barrels of ale a year, which is around 2 million pints. They have a great website with a lot of information on the beers. I've got a lime and soda in this pub because I've just had a, a mud shot. No, I haven't. No. I'm, I'm having a lime and soda in this pub. I'm staying off the alcohol. Probably wise. Yeah. Probably wise. What's it taste like? Um, Think about sweet, it. <laughs> sweet and bubbly, just like you. Well, I, uh, I don't believe in staying off the alcohol, as people who know me would know. So I went for the large red wine. And that's and a large one. That is a large red wine. It look, almost looks like two, doesn't it? But it's one. I've had a pint of Jules Pale Ale. Very nice as ever. Yeah. In the same box. He had another one identical, so another box with an identical ham sandwich. Audrey, say yes, that's a good girl. Okay, folks, it's time for another joke. Now, we obviously can't have all this alcohol without eating. So I went to the butcher's. I said to the butcher, excuse me, could I have some bacon, please? He said, lean back. So I went, could I have some bacon, please? But then he said to me, I bet you 20 pounds you can't reach that meat hanging up there. I said, 20 pounds, I'm not betting. He said, why not? I said, the stakes are too high. Just at this moment, a hole opened up in the pub and swallowed us. We were going to visit Beer Bomb, which is a great pub in Litchfield and very popular. Unfortunately, it was so popular and so full, we couldn't get in. So we're headed right next door to the Whip It In, which is a micro pub. Uh, they select the best beers from independent breweries across the UK, and it is really a micro pub. It's a little triangle shape. They have four ever changing real ales, 18 craft beers, and it's named after a saucy boozer in Carry On At Your Convenience. It used to be a dress shop, it's card payment only, it has 25 seats and a capacity of 40 people and two dogs. So this is a transatlantic continuous IPA. And it's very pleasant, 5.2%, so a bit pokey, very pleasant. I've got a Coke. I know. I know. 
it's still sort of powder on your nose. It's uh, Merlot apparently, and he, he, we don't care as long as it's red wine it anymore. But it's very nice and a lovely pub, a good atmosphere. We're able to play cards. That's a good result. <laughs> <laughs> now, over. Okay, folks, we're nearing the end. But just to let you know, before I became a professional comedian, I used to work at a travel agent. And then one day, somebody came in and said, Excuse me, I'd like to go somewhere hot and secluded. So I locked him in the photocopying room. Absolutely. And then, I actually went to visit a uh, travel agents. I said I'd like to go to Paris, please. The woman said, you a star. I said, well, I've done a bit of stand-up comedy in the West Midlands, but I'm no Roger Moore. We're going to review the five that I've been to. Lisa and Charles have kindly invited me to come as a guest. And I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. But the first one we went to, the bittersweet. It felt like I was walking into someone's front room, but a very nice pub. And there were people in there that really enjoyed being in their number two pub. It was the King's Head. And I've been there loads of times to see a band and stuff and uh, live entertainment. It was good. There was lots of people in there, good atmosphere. Third one, the spiritualist. It was a good pub, nice bar, lovely setup. And not many people in there when we first went in, but people came in as, as we were in there. The cocktails were nice, so there you go. The fourth pub we went to, we're still on the wine, by the way. It was the Angel in Litchfield, of course. And the Angel, of course, being a Madonna track on her second album, Like a Virgin, which is always a favorite of mine. It was a good pub, very, very, very busy on a Saturday afternoon early thriving pub lots of people in there the beer was nice and the uh, the wine was nice we sampled that between us very good okay they whip it in an unexpected one we weren't planning to come here but it's dog friendly so we're here and it's been good very very friendly people and we like it in here so yeah again wouldn't put you off folks come along following a report of theft of jokes the police turned up and we bravely ran away. Thank you.